Hi boys and girls. We're going to start our math with chapter 10. So please make sure you have out your chapter 10 math workbook and open up to page 575. We're starting with lesson 10.1. Chapter 10 is about picture graphs, what they are, how we can make them, and how we can read them. So here we have a graph. We are going to make this graph of how many blue cubes and how many green cubes there are. The question says there are two green cubes and four blue cubes. So I'd like for you to draw above the color of the cubes how many cubes there are. So there are two green cubes. and four blue cubes. Now the question asks, how many more blue cubes are there than green cubes? A good way to track how many more of one there are than another is to see if they both have one. Do they both each have one cube? Yes, they do. Do they both each have two cubes? Yes, they do. Do they both have three cubes? They do not. So the extra cubes you should circle, and that is how many more blue cubes there are than green cubes. The answer is two. Write two on the line and make sure you draw what I have here in the diagram. Now we're going on to the next page. We want to look at this picture graph. This picture graph has a title. The title is called Children Play, sorry, Children at the Playground. Here we have two things children can play at the playground, swings and a slide. Each stick figure stands for one child. There are blank children on the swings. So let's look at the swings and count how many stick figures we see. One, two, three, four. So there are four children on the swings. You can trace the number four on this line The next sentence says, there are blank children on the slide. Let's go up to the slide on the graph and see how many children are on the slide. Count with me. One, two. How many children are on the slide? Write your answer on the line. Two is correct. There are more children on the blank. Which one of these have more children on them? We can do the same thing we compared, the same way we compared the blue cubes and the green cubes. We can compare how many children are on the swings and slide. We want to see which one has more children on it. Do they both have one child? Do they both have two children? Do they both have three children? They don't. Which one has three and more children? Swings. So there are more children on the swings. Write the word swings on the line. Now we want to move on to the next graph. The title of this graph is Our Favorite Activity at the Fair. There are two kinds of activity activities. One is animals and one is rides. 
So the animals is showing, I'm not really sure what this is, a little horse. And the ride looks like there's a Ferris wheel. We want to look at how many children are on each so that we can be able to answer the questions below. Again, same as above, each stick figure stands for one child. Use the picture graph to answer the question. Which activity did more children choose? Circle, animals, or rides? Let's look at the graph. We want to see which one of the activities has more children. We can compare like we did before. Or we can see which one has more children without as many empty spaces. And I see that rides has more children than animals. So we can circle rides. How many children chose animals? So we want to go back to the graph, to the section where it says animals, and count how many children chose animals. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five children chose animals. Let's write the number five on the line. Number three, how many children chose rides? We want to do the same thing. Go back to the, to the graph and look at rides and we want to count. Let's count it together again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Seven children chose rides. Let's write seven on the line. Now it's asking how many fewer children chose animals than rides. This is where we can compare like we did before. Checking if they both have one child. Do they both have two children? Do they both have three? Do they both have four? They both have five. Do they both have six? They do not both have six. So the rest of the children for rides is how many fewer children chose animals. It's already circled here. If you haven't circled it yet, you can circle it in your book. How many fewer children chose animals than rides? Two is the correct answer. Write two on the line. Now, boys and girls, on page 577, this is the on your own section. You need to read the title of the graph, count how many children chose milk, how many children chose juice, how many children chose water. You can write the numbers on the side to help you remember the number without having to count it so many times. And then you can answer questions 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on this page. Once you finish with page 577, you can go continue to page 578. On page 578, they want you to do something a little bit differently. They want you to write a number sentence on each of the problems. You have to decide if it is an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence. Once you finish these two pages, you can complete your homework pages on page 579 and 580. Once you finish those pages, 579 and 580, please take a picture of them and post them to your portfolio. So this way I can see that you've done your homework. 
if you have any questions, be sure to ask your parents or you can message me as well. Bye.